I'm, I'm from Delaware County. I'm a father, a family man. Uh, I was a former commanding officer and executive officer in the Navy. I'm a veteran of foreign wars. I'm a CEO of my own private company. I'm a data scientist. I'm a forensic computer scientist. I'm an expert in security and fraud. Uh, Leah had recruited me uh, for this election, um, and uh, I was glad. I uh, thank you for that. You. So for the first part of the day, I was a poll watcher in the city of Chester. And uh, I was with just another uh, former U.S. Marine officer. And uh, the two of us were the only GOP poll watchers uh, in the city of Chester, which is about 40,000 people. Uh, because of the consolidation for COVID, uh, there were seven polls we were allowed to, you know, that we were able to make it to in 22 precincts. What we saw out there was pretty orderly. Um, and uh, exciting. People were excited to vote. Uh, one of the things we saw out in the field was that people, uh, quite a few people had done mail-in ballots. So they came in and they hadn't uh, been updated in the Delaware County database yet. So they would come in and say, I, you know, the database is not showing me on the database. I'd like to vote. So the process, uh, one of the processes was to uh, give them a, uh, a provisional ballot. And, um, and then they would vote provisionally, and then later on their vote would be sorted out. Um, that didn't happen. Uh, I, I observed, and the gentleman that was with me uh, observed uh, seven different polls where uh, the people were given a, a regular ballot. So they cast a vote and put it in. You know, we let it happen a few times. You know, we didn't jump all over them. You know, it happened a couple of times. We went up. Uh, in all cases, the election judges were very um, forthcoming. Um, very polite. They apologized and they said they couldn't do it. But that um, somewhat spurred me to go down to the counting center, uh, which Leah described. It's on the Seaport Ave. It's a, it's a remote building, not much around it. And I wanted to take a look. All day long, I had been told that um, there were 10 to 20 GOP poll watchers down there and that everything was well in hand. And out of curiosity, I decided to go down. Uh, I arrived at 6 o'clock. Um, with four other gentlemen, uh, again, former military and some good citizens from, the, from Delaware County. And um, we weren't allowed to get in until uh, 11 o'clock at night, and we had to get some um, legal help to get us in. So it took us five hours to get upstairs. Um, after that, um, you know, what we saw here is, uh, what I saw is I really think the, the, the crux of this in Delaware County is... Uh, as an expert in this, I think it's impossible to verify the validity of about 100,000 100, to 120,000 votes. Now, Delaware County has got 425,000 registered voters. Approximately 300,000 of them voted. I don't know what the exact number ended up. Uh, Mayor Giuliani uh, nailed that number. But of that number, uh, over 100,000 are in question in my mind. What I saw as a forensics expert was an election process that was forensically destructive in the manner it was conducted, with the envelopes being separated from the ballots and gone to the other side of the room. And the problem with that from being forensically destructive is that when you go to do a recount, okay, the machines did a pretty good job of recounting, so if I have 120,000 ballots, mail-in ballots at one side of the room and envelopes at the other side of the room, it's still going to come out 102,000 votes for President, uh, Vice President uh, Biden and 18,000 votes for President Trump. I don't care how many times you recount those votes, you know, the ballot's going to come out the same every time. So the notion of a recount in a forensically destructive process is, is, uh, doesn't work very well. Um, what we saw there, what I saw there, was a chain of custody in all cases that was broken. It was broken for the mail-in ballots, the drop box ballots, the election day USB V card flash drives. In all cases, the chain of custody and the procedures that were defined by the Delaware County Board of Elections and election process review were all, they didn't follow one. I, I, I couldn't even redline this multi-page document because the entire document would be uh, they didn't follow any of the procedures. So I personally observed um, USB V cards being uploaded to the voting machines by the, uh, the uh, voting machine warehouse supervisor on multiple occasions. I saw this personally. I brought it to the attention of the deputy sheriff who was there stationed, who was a senior law enforcement officer, 
and I brought it to the attention of the clerk of elections. Um, I brought it to their attention, I objected, and I said, uh, this person is not being observed, he's not part of the process that I can see, and he's walking in with baggies, which we have pictures of, and it was submitted to, in our affidavits, and he was sticking these USBs into the machines. So uh, I personally witnessed over that, that happened 24 times, over 24 times. Um, we have multiple other witnesses to start, including Democrat poll watchers. And we were told, um, I was told the next day uh, by uh, the uh, solicitors, uh, via, well, actually not the solicitor, but the attorney that we had secured, that they said every election they leave a couple of USBs in the voting machines and they're brought back and generally the warehouse manager comes over and puts them in. So in talking to uh, the U.S. Uh, Attorney General uh, McSwain and other uh, law enforcement officers, uh, I found out that was not the case, that generally, uh, you know, more than, more than two is unusual. So they denied they did it. But um, as of today, 47 USB cards are missing, and they're nowhere to be found.